Hello YouTube, uh, we're back with another video for JPAD TV and uh, this is part two of our tools video that on the first video we went through the uh, basic tools that are used in uh, the installation industry and this time we have the part two which is the mechanical tools or specialty tools. These tools are a little bit more expensive uh, but uh, this is what you call the money tools because with these tools is where you make most of your your money right this is what you use to do your metal jacket or your PVC jacket or um, any type of jackets that you need to do and um, we can get started so our first uh, mechanical tools we have here is the one you've probably seen me use the most is the thin uh, measuring tape so the thin measuring tape, it's great to measure around pipes uh, and make sure you have it. I recommend having a half inch or three quarter inch thin uh, tape because if you have a wide tape like a one inch or, or above, when you, whenever you go around your pipe, it will start breaking. So the, the thinner it is, the better it can go around the pipe and you get the closest measurement or the most exact measurement you can. This one is the uh, DeWalt uh, 12 footer and uh, this is the metal casing. Any uh, any tape that you want to use it's fine as long as it's thin and uh, this one runs about uh, 10, 10 or 12 dollars so it's great find it any any supply warehouse or wherever you buy your tools. Next tools we got here is the straight edge and the square. Now these, you know, you need them to do any kind of markings, any kind of cuts or straight. Uh, they're fairly cheap. They're about ten dollars a piece. And uh, these, you know, you use them for like your bevels, your your uh, duck board, uh, your duck metal jacket, your uh, just any cut you you gotta do. You gotta use a square. All your patterns, you do with a square and straight edge. And these run you about a uh, ten to twelve dollars uh, each, and you can find them at Home Depot or Lowe's, anywhere. They're fairly common. Okay, our next tool we have here is the number twenty-four dividers. Uh, these are the same thing as the number eighteens that I showed you on our basic tools except these are bigger these go up to I believe you can make about a 40 inch end cap with these so whenever you do a lot of industrial work um, or sometimes duct work and stuff they have big holes or, or tanks uh, you want bigger you need a uh, bigger divider so these provide you this and um, these run you about uh, $25, 25 or $30. This is the Malco brand. So this is the brand that I recommend you getting. Uh, they sell these uh, online on Amazon or any supply warehouse where you get your installation materials at. Next tool is our clamps. And we pretty much use this um, to just hold our, our metal jacket down. So, you know, with these, uh, if it's wind outside or, or you need to cut a piece or anything, this will hold your uh, metal jacket in place uh, just for you to, you know, mark anything or whatever you got to do with your jacket. Uh, these are the about the cheapest thing. Uh, the cheapest tool that we have is about $2 a piece. And you can get these at uh, any Home Depot or Lowe's. You need several of these, so make sure you don't just get one or two. You need at least four of these. Next tool we have is the uh, red snips. You know you use this to cut all your uh, your metal jacket or your stainless jacket or your PVC jacket that you need that you're doing. This is the Midwest brand. So uh, the Midwest brand is the one that I recommend the most. Uh, to me is the the one that lasts the longest and cuts the best. I know Midwest is not sold on every warehouse uh, you can find these at the supply houses wherever you get your materials. You can buy them on Amazon or uh, any Sears. And these run you about uh, $25. You pretty much need this. This is a very uh, essential tool. 
Our next tool is the utility knife. So this one's the one that uh, you remove your blades. Doing metal jacket, you need to cut any straight cuts you need to do. This is the tool. Uh, with metal jacket uh, or PVC jacket, your your uh, blade goes no uh, dual, so you just replace it, get another one. And you can get any brand you like, and they sell them pretty much everywhere. Anywhere they sell tools, they'll have knives. Run you about ten, fifteen dollars, just whatever you prefer. Next tool, and this is for pretty much our PVC jacket. So with a PVC jacket, if you haven't done it before. Uh, PVC jacket, it's uh, you glue the jacket with uh, PVC glue. Uh, you don't uh, strap it down with uh, metal banding or, or anything like that. So what you use, you use these straps to hold it in place, tighten it as much as you can, you hold it in place, and then you glue it and uh, wait till it dries a little bit and then you take these off. So these are very essential if you're going to do any type of PVC jacket. Uh, you will need about, I recommend you getting six to eight of these because while you wait on, on one piece to, you know, dry a little bit, you can go ahead and install the other piece and use your bands and glue that together and then, you know, remove bands and then go to the next. So, uh, these run you about $5, five, six dollars each and, uh, find them at uh, Amazon or anywhere where they sell the ladder straps at. Now make sure you get the little, I think this is called the crocodile buckle. And uh, these are really good because with these you don't, you tie them up as much as you can with this, but they won't go back. So if you need to tie something, it'll tie it up as much as you want and it will never get loose on you. So highly essential tool for PVC jacket. Moving on here uh, for our jacketing part, we have the uh, notchers. This is the Malco brand, and I believe is the best brand that I found. So Malco, uh, these is the three quarter inch uh, notchers. So if you've seen all of our uh, metal jacketing videos that we have done, uh, we use these for our end caps or our our tees and our our bevels you know this is very essential and uh, these run you about uh, 40 to 50 dollars now these are a little bit more expensive but I think you can find other brands but this I've been having these for a really long time and they seem to work just as good as since I bought them so now I've seen other people use different brands and seem to work for them but I also see them replace them every once in a while and I've never had to replace these. So this is the brand that I recommend. Uh, I know they have these at Amazon and uh, they have them at uh, supply warehouses. Or if you find a Malco retailer somewhere, this is, I think is the best not you can find. The next tool we have is the uh, metal center punch. Now the, the metal center punch, we use it to do any type of markings on your uh, metal jacket. Uh, most of the time this is used for doing the X patterns on your uh, metal jacket on the ducks. So uh, if, you, if you've seen or drove anywhere and you see duck being outside with the metal jacket, you know they have an X pattern. So we use this uh, to do those. And uh, this runs you about uh, 10 to $15. And uh, this one's great because... Uh, it actually, you can turn it to how heavy you want it or how light you want the center punch to be. So if you want it to be a, a really, really strong mark, you put it on the heavy. Or if you want it just a light marking, you put it on the light mark. So this is great. You find them at any Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace Hardware, uh, any type of hardware store. So next tool we have here is our circumference ruler. So uh, this ruler, you know, we use it to do any type of patterns. If you've seen our, our old videos that we have on the channel, I use this tool a lot uh, for any type of measurements. And it's the best tool to get the exact measurements that you need to when you measure around a pipe. And, you know, you got to do your circles, you got to do your markings. Uh, what's special about this, this uh, ruler is that 
it not only has like the inches right here but at the bottom of it as you can see uh, it has the circumference uh, inches right here at the bottom so if you've seen our videos I usually measure the around the pipe with our measuring tape and whatever measuring I, I get with the tape I put it on the uh, the circumference uh, inches and that's where I open my dividers to and it gives you the exact measurement of the pipe you don't need to have it you cannot you can just get along with the tape but if you want your cuts to be as precise as possible I recommend you getting this uh, now this is the Lovekin brand to what I believe this is the only brand that I know that makes this uh, type of ruler uh, I don't know if there's any other brands but this ruler costs you between 80 to 100 dollars so it's a little bit expensive but if you wanna like I, like I said if you want to you want your cuts to be precise and all your markings and everything this is the best tool you can get so next tool we have is a drill you know any type of drill that you prefer any brand uh, it's good uh, right here I have the 18 volt Makita now you don't need something to be this strong you can get a 12 volt uh, all you mainly use this is to just uh, screw the uh, the metal jacket together with uh, our quarter inch screws like I said it doesn't have to be this strong but you it's a very essential tool because anytime you're doing metal jacket you will screw the you have to screw the the metal jacket together so uh, make sure you have this and uh, you know these run you between a hundred to two hundred three hundred dollars however much you want to spend but you will need a drill and our last uh, essential tool that we have here for the metal jacket is of course the metal bender so this is the uh, pistol grip uh, metal bender and you've seen me use it on the videos uh, that we've done the jacket on uh, this this is an expensive tool runs you about three hundred dollars there's a cheaper version that runs about half the price I believe it's like 175 it's like it's a black and chrome and that one you can get it just to start off but I recommend you get in the three hundred dollar one the made in USA one uh, this will last you forever and if you don't have this you pretty much can't do any metal jacket so you have to have it if you want to get the 175 one the only difference of it is that this little nail right here tends to get real stiff so sometimes with the aluminum jacket uh, when you're doing the aluminum banding uh, it sometimes breaks them or it gets stuck so you sometimes have to cut the band off or something but with this one the more expensive one you don't have that problem it's just the most essential tool that you need for your metal jacket and one more thing uh, all these tools they get pretty expensive so you don't you don't want to have your tools just laying around so make sure you get a bag for it make sure you get a bag and you know if you're gonna have your bender your drill your uh, circumference ruler your notchers these real expensive tools you you want to have them uh, in a bag and if you can get a lock for it because these tools tend to walk <laughs> so if you've been on the field and sometimes you know you're working with guys you don't really uh, know uh, make sure you have your tools locked up because like I said they just walk away and next thing you know you you just don't find them anymore so make sure you have somewhere to lock them up at uh, this is just a regular uh, 12 inch uh, bag I think and I, I use this just to uh, carry my my metal jacket tools so I have this separately from my uh, basic tools which the basic tools I kind of carry everywhere when I'm working but uh, if you're doing any type of jacket and stuff it's good to have them separately just so you can have them uh, with you or you don't have to you know take stuff in and out of your bag that you don't need now with these tools uh, you don't have to get them all at once you know they're all not not needed at once so same same thing with the basic tools it you kind of you know you start working and then uh, whatever you see that you need as you go you start buying like if you're just doing if you start 
uh, working on duck wrap, so you, you kind of only need your pouch, your, your uh, measuring tape, and your knife, right? But as far as you go, once you start doing piping, or you start doing armor flex, or you start doing more, more uh, insulation stuff, uh, you will need more tools, so you kind of just buy them as you go. So you don't have to spend three, four hundred dollars like right away just to buy all these tools. You know, you you get them as you go along. So and especially these specialty tools, the metal jacket tools, they can get pretty expensive because, like I said, it's hundred dollars, fifty dollars, three hundred dollars. So you know, you get them little by little. Later on, you already have all your tools and and you're good to go. You can work on anything you need and. You ain't got to keep buying stuff or looking for anything. If you enjoyed today's video or learned something new here, uh, please make sure you like, comment, and share the video. And uh, please subscribe for more videos and turn on your notifications so you can know every time we post a new video on the channel. Thank you for watching.